Lactantius de Mortibus Persecutorum, Episode 13. Nec tamen habuit impune, respexit enem Deus vexationem populi sui, deiectus itaque fastigio imperii, ac de volutus a sumo tirdranas impotens nusquam repente comparuit, ut ne sepulturdre quidem locus interdret tam malae bestiae apardredret. In the previous episode, Lactantius described how it was that Nero put Peter and Paul to death. Nectamen, but, however, he did not do this without being punished. Habuit impune. Impune is an adverb, and it means without punishment. The English word impunity, clearly, comes from the noun form of this. Habuit is the third perfect indicative active, the third singular perfect indicative active, from the second conjugation verb habeo, habere, which means to have. Here, with this adverb, it means to be in a condition or to be in a state, nor did he get away with it without being punished, impune. It is similar to the Greek verb echo plus an adverb, which functions like emi, sum, with an adjective. And here is why he didn't get away with it, enim, for God looked down upon, had regard for, the vexationem, the tribulation, the harassment of his own people. This is a very simple sentence and shows that Lactantius has a great variety in his style, much as Cicero's own style, who serves as Lactantius's model. Some sentences are long, filled with subordinations and complication. Other sentences are very simple and straightforward, the simple style. For God had regard, or the respects it, third singular perfect, and vexationem, feminine, singular, and accusative, the object of respects it, had regard for the turmoil, the trouble of his own people. This entire phrase is reminiscent of Exodus 2, 23 and following, in which God looks down and has pity on his people in their Egyptian slavery. I believe Lactantius is making a reference here. And so, having been cast down, deectus, thrown down from the pinnacle, fastigio, this is the ablative, the neuter singular ablative of the noun fastigium, having been thrown down or hurled down from the pinnacle of his power, and de volutus rolled down from the verb de volvo, which means to degenerate or roll down from a place, from the very height, asumo, the tyrant, referencing Nero, impotens, was powerless. Powerless, nowhere, nusquam, did he suddenly appear. In other words, he could be found nowhere, in no place whatsoever. Repente is an adverb that is synonymous with statim, suddenly, immediately, without delay. And comparuit is the third principal part of the second conjugation verb compario comparere, which means to be evident or to be visible. Suddenly, Nero could be found nowhere, this powerless tyrant. And this, then, was the result. So, ut, with a negative like this, must be negative result, whereas ne, plus the subjunctive, is negative purpose. That's how they are distinguished. Ut plus any negative is negative result, and that's what we have. With the result that, ne quidem sepulturae, not even a place of his burial, in the world appeared, the place tam malai bestiae, of such a wicked animal or monster. The way that ne quidem works is that whatever is placed between them is that which receives emphasis. Sepulturae is feminine singular genitive and is dependent on locus, a place of his burial, the place of his tomb. And it is the place, tam malae bestiae, of su such a wicked monster. No place in the earth appeared. Apareret is the third singular, imperfect subjunctive of apareo, the second conjugation verb, and it is a synonym of comparuit. It is the subjunctive with apareret, and here, of course, is an image of Nero.